Hey guys, it's Beanstar. Alright, hey guys, it's Siri. It's Makeup Monday, Makeup Monday, Makeup Monday, Makeup Monday. Oh, welcome back to a Makeup Monday. I'm so happy you're here to watch this video. I am super excited to show you this look. So if you don't know the game Witcher, this is a character from that game called Siri. Me and Martin have been playing that game a lot lately and we have been loving it. So uh, I thought it would be really cool if me and Martin did a Witcher and Siri cosplay. But so far I only wanted to show you my Siri makeup because my cosplay isn't actually done. I really want to replace some of the things on my cosplay, but whatever. You will see that later. Later, later, later. Today is just about her makeup. Oh, and I forgot to say that uh, actually this video is sponsored by Eva Hair. Um, I got this lovely wig from them, so uh, I'm super happy for having them helping me out with this. Uh, so this wig will be linked down in the description box and there will also be a discount code if you want it. Um, so I think this wig was just perfect. It's really, really long, but I put it in a bun because that's how Siri has hers. Uh, so thank you so much, Eva Hair. You're the best. Love you. Now let's get into the video. So this time I started off by doing my uh, foundation off screen. So I start off by just applying my Milani blush, like a noticeable amount of blush because we, uh, she kind of looks like she's blushing on the pictures of her. Uh, I'm also pulling up the blush towards my eye because she has a scar on her cheek. Then I'm using my contour kit from Asia Beverly Hills using these two colors and just doing some more contouring just to make myself look a little bit more like uh, a game character than just a real life person. To the side where she has the scar, I add more contouring because it's not gonna show as good as on the non-scarred side. <laughs> and then I'm using my Magic Any Cushion to do some highlights and, and I'm also contouring a bit under my lip to make my shin look a bit more like hers. And I'm also contouring my nose to make myself look a little bit more animated than I do. Creating some good looking but fake looking shadows really helps with that. And I'm using my shade of light from Kat Von D and using these two colors to begin with to fill in my eyebrows. Her eyebrows look very natural so I tried to stay away from making it like very polished. So I just wanted to look like I filled in my natural eyebrows. It's a bit hard because I don't have my whole eyebrows but I tried to make it look like uh, a natural pair. I then used my brow pencil to just brush out the hairs and make it smoother and then I went on with the same pen on the same thing and just uh, tried to make my eyebrows look a bit more natural. I also added some freckles which Siri has so just a subtle amount but still like a cute amount. I'm using the same pencil to line out the scarring she has. This will make the scars look deeper and more realistic because of the darker undertone color. It also helps me later to like give me a guidance. Of course, I'm adding some brow gel as well just to make my eyebrows not go everywhere. I'm using the Kat Von D palette again to just highlight my inner corners. And I'm using an uh, eyeliner pen from Makeup Store in black, just a random one I have. And I'm just lining my entire waterline with that one to give it a bit more of a smoky effect. I'm also using the pen to cover my eyelash line and also to bring it out a bit and make my eyes look a bit slimmer and I'm blending it out to make it look a little bit more messy and natural. So that's how it turned out. I'm using these two colors, blending them together and just covering my entire lid with that color. I'm not blending it too good, but uh, I'm blending it. <laughs> and uh, I'm blending it a bit more outwards to make my eyes look slimmer again. Then I'm dipping into the black one and also doing the same thing and covering my entire eyelid with that black color. Of course, Siri is not a, like, a professional makeup artist, so we should not make this look uh, very professional like we want it to look a bit sloppy it will add a lot to the look i'm just doing it as dark as i can because later on we'll do something that will make the black appear less black and we don't want that so i'm taking this kylie jenner lip kit shade in commando i think it is and i'm just adding that to all my scars because i think that color looks so much like scarring i'm also adding some more red and pink from my Anastasia Renaissance palette and just using both the bigger brush and the smaller brush to make my scars look more dimensional. And I'm also adding some of my mascara to this, uh, which I forgot before, but she does have a mascara, so put some on. So this is the most important part, I think, of the look, and this is my collodium. So collodium does something to your skin to make it like clench together so it looks like you have an actual scar. It makes a dent in your skin. This is something uh, I just, I fall in love with. I love this. It looks so good. Look at that. Look how it's like denting inwards. 
it's so badass when i found this i was like praise the lord i'm using the same shade and just adding some a slight layer to my lips of the kylie jenner one and i'm also using a nyx lip gloss to add some shine to my lips because she doesn't have really dry lips all of her look is very very dewy i'm also adding this lip gloss to my eyelids because if you look at pictures of siri she has a very crazy makeup and it's also very messy so here i'm like pulling out the makeup to make it look like she like yeah she, like been asleep and woke up and just dragged her makeup and that she's been wearing the makeup for probably a couple of weeks i'm adding some more blush to give even more dimension to my scar and it also looks a bit better you can go kind of crazy with the contouring and the blush because of the scar so that's it my makeup is done i'm gonna put on my wig my outfit and everything my lenses everything thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye